step is an accurate way to describe a program. A program that is a bridge, a step, to the next stop in life. STEP was designed and built as a result of the Minsky system was set to close in a technical college. This community decided and felt that a technical education is way too important and they fought to keep both an technical college open and they decided that they would build a transition for high school to college. It is here that high school kids can integrate and be exposed. We have a wide range of career and technical education programs. We have everything from engineering and automotive to welding and manufacturing, um, cos cosmetology, uh, music, media, technology careers. Just put a, put a second pass in there and then turn your amperage up, fill it up with the eighth inch. Okay. It is in this class that resides something unique. The course is welding. That's really close to the size that you want, actually, right at the end there. And the student body is co-ed. Yes, females have been drawn to a traditionally male career path. I got into the welding class mostly because like, my sister just told me to try it. And so when I did try it, I really liked it. So I wanted to keep going. And... It sparked an interest in them, and they connected. And at first, I absolutely hated it. And then Mr. San, um, helped me out a little bit more, and then I ended up getting better, and then I ended up loving it. Can you try to go up on the frequency a little bit? What's it at right now? 130. 30. At the center is the instructor, Bob Sand. Do you think that that's clean enough? Yeah. Why don't you just weld it up? Weld it up and see what it does. He does a phenomenal job with all of his welding students, making sure that they are doing welds and performing at a very, very high level that is the demand of business and industry. He's found that his female students indeed have an aptitude. They are every bit as good as anyone else in class. I have a phenomenal group of, of ladies in here this fall. I'm extremely pleased with the way they're working. Maybe because they have a passion for it, a passion they developed by taking a risk and taking the class. I've been welding since like 10th grade at my high school, so I would be like gas, there's like, it's gas and stick welding. So I'd be like, and I'm like, oh, I started to like it a lot. There are opportunities waiting, like in the now oil rich fields of North Dakota, where a good welder is rewarded with opportunity. The, the recent developments out at the Bakken fields in North Dakota, many of the, uh, many of the graduates that have the skills to weld pipe together do end up out in that uh, part of the United States. The money is uh, phenomenal. Uh, when you talk to, talk to a 20-year-old kid, you know, the, the hours are long, the, 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 the shifts are long, but they can make a lot of money. The here and now is just learning a trade and learning what they are capable of learning. I want to go here for college. I'm going in the fall, and then um, I want to get a job in welding. Along the way, they take a fear on, head on, and come out the other side with confidence. The first day, I was so scared of just like the flames and being burned and and like even the second try I was still scared to try another type of welding because it's just they're all different so you just got to start getting used to them and I was it's just scary until you get the hang of it. The future is bright for those that can master this. Welding has gotten a lot more popular lately especially because there is such a high demand for welders in business and industry right now. And so they weld but more than that they proved what can be done. They lift the lid and provide a new sense of esteem, called another big step to their futures. It's not all girly, so I guess I kind of like it because of that, too. <laughs> Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.